This ancient woodland contains trees that are up to 700 years old. They've seen wars, plagues, and now the COVID-19 pandemic. But they're not just witnesses to history. Being amongst them has positive health benefits. So Nicola, what I'd like to invite you to do is to look at the amount of greens that you see around you and also any other colours that stand out that you might not be expecting to see as well. Philippa Bassett leads forest bathing sessions, structured exercises that use all five senses. It's mindfulness in nature, which has been scientifically proven to reduce blood pressure, boost the immune system, and have a significant positive effect on mental health. When you're in the forest and or a diverse forest with lots of biodiversity like this one here. We've got lots of flora and fauna and you're actually being very focused on one single exercise. So whether it's looking at how many greens you see or you're listening to the birds or the sound of the wind in the trees, your brain is just directed to one activity. So it's to quieten the body, quieten the mind. It's to switch off from the day-to-day -day stresses, strains, sleep better you can, your cortisol levels will drop. It's in the therapeutic mode for the body. All vital during the current pandemic. Being in the forest also improves physical health through breathing increased oxygen levels and from the phytoncides, the chemicals that help plants fight disease, which also boosts our immune systems. Your NK cells increase as well through doing forest bathing which is really important, I think. So a time when we need to boost our immune system, this is the time to be doing a good two hours, even if it's just every other week. We're gonna be walking a little bit more slowly and just notice any sensations, any changes in what you, 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 you feel underfoot. The Forest Bathing Institute is working with British universities to measure the health advantages doctors already prescribed sessions in Japan, the Institute hopes Western doctors will follow suit. The forest bathing sessions end with relaxation and you need to spend a couple of hours to fully benefit from them. So to my cameraman, Sean, you can go now because I'm going to stay here for a little while. Nicola Hill, TR2 World in Surrey, England.